Happy Father's Day to all you fathers. And happy Father's Day to all you people that have fathers. And even if they weren't in the home and they raised you, you still had one. He was just out there still getting cigarettes. I'm sure he'll be back someday. Just keep waiting. Anyway, that's just some of us personal experiences. But anyway, what I got today is, uh, being that it's Father's Day, I want to do what I want to do because I want to do it. Because it's Father's Day. Um, am I getting a special dinner for my family? No. Are they treating me like a king today any more than normal? No. Matter of fact, I asked my daughter, you got anything to say to me today? She's like, um, hi. I'm like, anything special about today? I don't know. Do you want to go check the calendar? And she goes, check the calendar. Oh, happy Father's Day. Yeah, she didn't even know. So, not a big deal over here. Now, what I wanted to do today, I wanted to do a first in the vinyl community. Something that's never been done before. And I am allotted this opportunity from that mountain. I'm pretty much done. We've categorized the mountain out. Now we're just integrating it into my collection. But I came across a lot of content that I can throw at you guys in the future. Lots of good content. But this one came special because it gave me an opportunity to do something that's never been done before. Now you're like, what's that? Well, how about a genre of music that has either never been shown before, or if it is, it's been in very minor, and maybe here and there in sparse. But I'm going to show you about 50 of them. Can you dig it, dig it sucker? Dig it, sucker. sucker. <laughs> Without a song yeah. Probably, and I will say, the largest collection in the state of Maine, if not the United States. Maybe I'll grow on this because it's not a real popular genre. So you're going to say to me, well, what genre is that, Steve? Polka? No, it's not polka. I already had a lot of polka. I didn't have any of this. Now I got a lot of it. Oh, is it French Canadian stuff? No, it's not French Canadian stuff. I got those, got a hundred of those. Those aren't shown much either, but I've shown those already. Come on, think of a genre that you, that's not really shown in the VC. Go ahead, I'll give you a second. What? No. Do they even have that on vinyl? If so, let me know. No, the genre I'm talking about is, you ready for it? And of course, once I say what it is, you can just like stop the video, pop out now, or you can continue with me and we can look through them and kind of make fun of them a little bit, okay? And the genre is... Barbershop Quartets. That's right. I got a buttload, a literal buttload of Barbershop Quartet vinyl. Huh? Leave me in showing the link in a video of a video that's going to show 50 different Barbershop Quartet albums this is it baby got you vinyl groundbreaker leader not a follower anyway barbershop quartet winners this has got <laughs> poor guy he's ugly he's fat and he's gay what a minority on a minority on a minority poor sucker all right he's got to have a hard life that's all right the four we got the four pitch hikers You'll see more of them in the future. High Town Quartet, West Coasters, and Evans Quartet. Now, the four pitch hikers, you're going to notice a lot of these bands, one of the, the fun things they like to do with them is, you know, puns in their names. So, we'll keep an eye out for those. We've got Barbershop Sing Along. Ba, 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 ba. Look at those guys. With the Frank McGuire Singers. I'm going to move through these quickly because there's a lot of them. Now, one thing you're going to keep an eye out on these records is up in the corner here. See where it says Chord? Our Barbershop World Series 1? Looks like whoever this was was collecting them all like there was Pokemon, son. Let's hear it from the Auto Towners. Out of town? Auto? <laughs> Look at those guys. Nice sweaters. Ugly sweaters. All right. Let's bust one. 
Oh, I know I'm juvenile. I know I am. <laughs> that does not mean the same nowadays as it did back then. Ah, the poor fitch, four pitch hikers. Yes, we talked about them earlier. Wonder what they look like? They look like those guys. Next up, we've got the Sidewinders. Here's Barbershop and then some. And then some? What is that, like, ultra mega super barbershop? What would that be like? Barbershop with a guitar? No, that would be not barbershop anymore. It wouldn't be a quartet. Anyway, that's what they look like. Nice matching outfits, dorks. All right. The Checkmates. Barbershop World Series. And they look like this. Now, that's how you do it. Those are the hats you need to wear in a barbershop quartet. Don't you know the rules, people? Ugly stuff. Hat. Straw hat thing. Ten years of barbershop champions on DECA. Look at that. All the way from 1950 to 1960, the world winners of each barbershop quartet, World Championship Olympic Series. Anyway. Confederate Encores and High Five. Yes, they're a barbershop quartet that look like Southern Confederate soldiers. Sure. Why not? The Colonials. So, okay. So, we had... We had... Don't jump ahead of me. You know where this is going. We just had Southern soldiers from the Confederacy doing a barbershop quartet. So, what would the Colonials look like? Yes, they do! <laughs> These barbershop guys, they're a root. What a riot. <laughs> huh? Okay. Evans Quartet. Oh, that's kind of creepy, like Nightmare Before Christmas kind of stuff. But I'm sure they don't sound so hauntingly, because look at these guys. Hi, I go to get some ice cream down at the corner store. Hey, my name's Lester. Now, what's your real name? Press Evans. Anyway, next up, the Baytown Four. Boom, 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 boom. Baytown Four. Pretty boring. Still part of that series. But you know those barbershop straw hats? Well, let's forget. You can do bowlers too, guys. Hey, that'll set you apart from everybody else. Checkers and the bowlers. Yes, hey, 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 classy. God, I love these outfits. This is just so awesome. You're like, these people took this crap seriously. For real. Like, we gotta have an outfit. We gotta look, be a band and we gotta separate ourselves from the rest. Because when they say, hey, who are those goofy dorks dressed as clowns with neon? Well, they were the neon clowns. See, that's what they were thinking. Set themselves apart. The Rocket Tones. And they don't look like rockets. They look like sailors. Wait, wait, wait. There's rockets on their hats. Look at that. Ugh, they're rocket sailors. Stand by. It's X4321 and blast off with the rocket tones. <laughs> Strictly barbershop for those old school people that don't take any of these new town shenanigans. Got to have the red cord around your neck. And, of course, you got to have the gay notes with them. Because, you know, gay notes were... What was with gay in Barbershop? I know there's four good-looking... Never mind. <laughs> Makes sense now. <laughs> of course, there'd be a lot of gay in the Barbershop quartets. I haven't seen any ladies, have you? Just saying. Just saying. Another Barbershop world. The Gala Lads, international champions from 1962. Yeah, I know I got mail. I don't give a crap. Leave me alone. I'm doing a freaking video, computer. Shut up. Oh, look. They got their championship robes on with their shiny glitter and their shiny bald heads. That's nice. That's nice. There we go. The Gala Lads. Next up, the Four Rascals. <laughs> That's stupid. Um, well, actually, you gotta look at him on the back. Um, there's something wrong with this guy. And that one, too. Okay, well, is that what rascals looked like back then? I don't know. What's up next? 
the Kippers. It says here, Living Barbershop Sound, straight from the heart. Straight from the heart? Isn't that Brian Adams? Nah. Oh, no. Look at that. And nice, clean, white suits. Now, there you go. It's on the record. The Kippers. All right, what's up next? Barbershop Quartet Favorites. We got to have a comp album. There's a comp. The Silver Seal of Approval. Oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. We don't want no instruments. We want only acapella, mister. This is a high fidelity recording. Of course it is. And we saw them earlier. They're back. The check marks. Four of the sh four for the show. Another choral series. Now those are some, see boring. How are you guys gonna separate yourselves? I don't see any ugly checker marks here. You think check marks? You'd have checkerboard here, huh? Other band had check marks. What about a bowler? What about a straw hat? What about a beanie? Come on. What about some rabbit ears? Just do something to separate yourselves. No one remembers these guys. And I forgot their names already. What was it again? Oh, check marks. <laughs> Lame. Next up. The Journal of Men. <laughs> oh, Journey, sorry. The Journey of Men. And the Barbershop Quartet. Just saying. It's only guys. And they look like this. Boy, they do look happy walking down the road. And I would walk 500 miles. Ba -ba 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 Boom. 500 more. Maybe they do that song nowadays. I don't know. But the journey of men. Next up, barber shopping. Tiffany Studio Stereo. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's on here? Oh, is it a cop? Maybe so. Look at that. Okay, well that's cool. Barber shopping. Somebody shopped for that and got it. The Fordomatics. Fordomatics. Maybe like Ford. This is like a steering wheel of a car, maybe, and uh, says they're ringers. Isn't a ringer like when you take somebody in that isn't really from the team, and then they they're like a professional, but you're in an amateur team, and then you bring them in. So is there a professional in here that, and they're going to the amateur competition and then trying to cheat and win? What does their ringers mean? I'm not enough of an old fart to actually know. Is there a different definition? It's like, we cheat! Right on the cover of the record. Not real coy, guys. Anyway, that's what those cheaters look like. They all seem to have really big floppy ears. It's kind of a prerequisite to get in the band. And... The Fort Niner Niners. Okay, Fortnite. No, that's not Fortnite. It's Fort Niners. But but the Forty Niners, like the football team. But that's not Fort. Is this pronounced Forty Niners or is it Fort Niners? If it's Fort Niners, that's stupid. If it's Forty Niners, you don't know how to spell or watch football or numbers. Oh, wow. But they got nice, shiny jackets. Look at that. Wow. All right. It's a barbershop bonanza. Ding, 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 And last up, the Nighthawks. See, I like this cover. Black, simple, dark tone. Would this be like a barbershop quartet that, like, did covers of, like, Typo negative songs, that would be pretty awesome. Or like some kind of sludgy doom metal, but a cappella, the Nighthawks. Somebody hasn't gotten it, done it yet. You better get on it. Four piece barbershop quartet doom metal band. Get on it. I would buy that. Take my money. But these dorks look like that. Don't think they kind of all look like Undertakers. Though, come on, doesn't that guy look like an Undertaker? Yeah, maybe that guy. Maybe that guy. And then their kid. Like, I grew up in the business. Yeah. Wow. So, that is my huge stack of barbershop quartet records that I got in my mountain. On Father's Day, my gift to you fathers. If you guys want me to do some uh, 
closer examination, some needle drops, and background history on some of those bands, be sure to let me know in the comments. Nobody wants to know. Nobody cares. But I do. And eventually I will be going through them one by one and learning all that stuff. And if anybody in the VC wants to get together and join a barbershop quartet, hey, I, I can't get too high, I can't get too low. I'm kind of mid-range there. What is that, a baritone maybe? Low? Anyway, take care, guys. We'll see you later. Appreciate you watching. Have a great Sunday. Do something fun if you're a father. And if you're not a father, do something fun for a father. Take care.